all right guys hello and welcome back to another episode today is december 24th so christmas eve there christmas everyone let me know in the comments what kind of presents you are you guys are getting yourselves i'm always curious as for me i'm not getting anything yet but you know we'll see maybe in the coming days i'll get myself some new uh, bike gear or something we'll see and we're gonna be out here in the city for the next three and a half hours if i remember correctly that is and uh yeah i guess we'll uh, find out what it's like working during a holiday you know and this is actually not my first time this is actually not my first time working Working during Christmas I think I did last year as well and another time before that and uh, the general vibe is kind of like showing up for work when you're not supposed to you know I used to work at a restaurant back in the days and I remember there was one day where I showed up you know like I changed to my little working outfit you know I got everything ready showed up opened the door walked inside and there's no lights no one there and I'm like hello yo anybody there and <laughs> Like the whole place was empty and it turns out that I showed up on like a red day or something when the, when the place was closed. So, you know, that's kind of the vibe here when doing food delivery on a Christmas, you know, holiday. Kind of has that same emptied out building type of vibe, you know, because today most of the restaurants are going to be closed, in fact. And, you know, there will just be a couple of straddlers here and there. We might get some groceries from the market. We'll see. And uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of kebab spots will be open. But I'm not expecting a lot of high intensity action today, boys. You know, let me say that much. Yeah, so I've just gone online. Um, we are headed towards the Fedora market where it's, you know, maybe the most likely place for us to get an order. And uh, yeah. For now, nothing on my screen, and I expect that there's going to be a long wait, pretty much, you know, to be honest. So I think I'll bring you guys back whenever, you know, anything shows up on my screen. So yeah, see you guys then. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes so far, and I think I'm about to pass out from boredom. There's just absolutely nothing to do. No orders, no nothing. The city has this eerie, quiet, desolate vibe, you know? So, I mean, I'm just doing some sightseeing to <laughs> try to keep myself occupied. So, yeah, I don't know. I actually have uh, another shift tomorrow, like Christmas Day. I think I'm going to have to cancel that one. I just, you know, Christmas days is just not the right uh, timeline for that, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I'll keep on, you know, exploring the city, doing a little bit of sightseeing. And uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, you know, three hours from now, we'll get one order done. That'll be nice, you know? Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Guys, it's been about 45 minutes since I started my shift. I think I'm about to give up, you know, um, and just can start to consider this as a paid walk or ride, you know, and uh, I don't know, I might head into the old town, go for a walk there or, you know, explore some of those islands right there. I mean, the, the world is your oyster at this point. I've been trying to stick to the central parts in hopes that something might come in. But at this point, I'm just not sure, boys, you know, I am just not sure. So, yeah, I'm out here taking a look at the view uh it's pretty nice actually oh can you see my colleague down there a little fedora rider i don't think he has anything in the back i think he's just cruising around just like me you know anyway i don't know i'll head to the old town and just go for a walk or something i mean it's gonna be two and a half more hours of, of this pretty fun uh, sarcasm emoji i hope we get at least one order today you know in three and a half hours that would be nice actually now that i think about it i think it's even like this Today, it's even quieter than, you know, any of the previous Christmas shifts that I attended. I remember last year, at least there was like some action. Like, I remember there was one time, like the same customer tried to place a coffee order, but he kept getting rejected like three times in a row. You know, he put a, like put an order in from a little coffee place. I would go there, it was closed. I reported, you know, the, the restaurant is closed and the order is canceled. Then another coffee order shows up. I go to the next place, the place is also closed and this happened like three times in a row and i don't think the guy ever got his coffee like he was really struggling and trying but uh yeah <laughs> it was just a little bit out of luck 
but you know at least there was something to do uh today you know we are barely we literally have zero orders today so far so i mean i think that says something and uh well it also you know it's so boring that that the time is barely moving you know i mean it's tough boys anyway let's head over to the old town and i don't know just walk around or something try and pass the time i mean there's not much else to do so you know we might as well and by the way that's where we were just a moment ago up there all right guys here we are in the old town i guess i'm gonna just pretend that i'm a tourist for a little bit and let's see if we can find you know anything interesting here maybe some cool decorations or whatever you know at least what we're seeing in front of us you know it's a it's it's a tiny bit lively i mean that is amazing the rest of the city is just eerily quiet yeah, i guess all these people are tourists from you know wherever they're from let's try and head over to the main square and check it out see what's uh what's happening over there that's cute look at this boys now unfortunately while a lot of these restaurants here are open and you know they do have guests that are you know visiting i don't think a lot of them have a contract with our company you know for door so even though you know technically speaking we're kind of like in in action you know being a little bit central i'm not expecting any orders to come through here from the old town there's just not uh, too many restaurants here that we're working with you know All right, so remember I was here in the old town, you know, working, delivering some food a couple of days ago. You know, there was a crowd of people and the choir was performing. So that was kind of cool to see in the Christmas spirit, I guess. I wonder, like, you know, it would be kind of cool if uh, we spotted something like that today. But I guess all the big festivities happen in preparation to Christmas. And then on actual Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, you know, people are uh, kind of like settled down and in their homes with family, you know. So I guess I'm not expecting any events taking place right now but who knows yeah let's keep on going towards the central square here in the old town oh look at this it looks like they had a christmas market operating here at some point i wonder if it closes down after christmas and like those days between christmas and the new year i wonder if they're open at that point but let's see yeah, they're open uh, from 1st to 23rd of December, so even though the stalls are still here, you know, they'll be getting taken away in the, you know, coming days. I actually didn't know they had a Christmas market here. It would be kind of cool to visit, you know, next year, maybe. Boys, you know, we're we're like full-on tourist mode right now. Like, I even forgot I'm on the job, you know? Um, but yeah, let me, like, give you guys an update. Let me see here. And we have the uh, Royal Castle in front of us there, looking good. Let's see. Time is 7.13. So it's uh, we started like an, literally an hour ago. Zero orders, boys. And we're here until 9.45. That's quite a long time considering how you know little there is to do. There has to be at least one order, right? Ooh, look at this street, guys. That's kind of neat anyway i don't know we've been to the south island we've been to the old town let's keep on you know exploring i guess and you know maybe something will pop up eventually i don't know last year i you know it was pretty slow but it was still like maybe two orders per hour last year you know still had that desolate vibe you know it was eerily quiet and, and stuff and you know it's just got like out here in the cold it's dark has a certain vibe to it but at least there was something to do today like i don't know what's going on actually like if i see one of my colleagues I'll, i'm gonna say hello and, like ask them like yo have you gotten any orders yet like i want to know if their experience differs from mine you know so yeah deeply exciting shift today boys as you can see all right boys check out the sights and sounds there's a cool little boat right there we have a nice view of the royal castle and the the old town over there yeah i'll just you know taking a walk that's it you know and i yeah i don't know i just realized that um i'm here until 9 45 that's kind of crazy i don't know how i'm gonna survive until then you know here until 9 45 yeah i don't know <laughs> i guess so i'll just keep on walking until until the time runs out or we get an order you know that would be that would be something guys i think i'm just about done with walking i mean it's it's kind of cold it's minus 
three or four degrees celsius but it feels like minus nine and so i think the plan for me right now is to head back towards the south island and maybe see if the floor market is open you know because that's an indoor space where you could possibly stay warm and yeah no orders so far well, guys look I'm not sure if you can see that on screen, but it's a Christmas miracle. We have a first order of the day. So it's uh, from Chow Chow Grande, a little pizzeria. Now it could be a false alarm. You know, we might arrive there and the place might be closed. So let's uh, keep our, our eyes peeled. But you know, it's just still, it's an order that is on screen and it's better than nothing. So let's head over there now and check it out. Also, as you can see, it has started snowing. Oh, it feels like I'm back from vacation, boys, you know? <laughs> it's been such a long time since uh, we had an order. So it's uh, pretty close, actually. We'll be there in about five minutes. This is kind of a walking street, but there's nobody here. So, I mean, let's just cut through and keep on going straight. The restaurant is in this direction. Well, it feels kind of nice to be actually moving, you know, at a, you know, at a decent pace. All that slow walking and, uh, you know, slow riding as well. It just kind of brings your blood to a stop, you know, your blood flow. All right, well, let's uh, find out if this order is real or not, or if it's just a mirage, you know, and we're stuck in the orderless desert. I actually, you know, I do like that it's uh, also snowing now. It's gonna, it's gonna like adding to the vibe, you know? It's, it's a real, you know, Christmas Eve. All right, so here we are, and the place does look open. Very nice, they got some guests sitting down, enjoying, you know, their meals. Get the presents ready. Let's head inside and see if the, if our order is ready as well. Pickup is in two minutes. We're picking up a Hawaii pizza, that is the pineapple pizza, and two pieces of tiramisu. Tiramisu is amazing, guys. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's my favorite dessert. It is, uh, I guess, coffee and cream flavored. A little uh, cake style dessert. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's sweet, but in a, in a light fashion. And then, you know, it has a slight like coffee bitterness at the bottom. And if it's made correctly, that is just, you know, amazing. An amazing experience. So somebody is going to enjoy tiramisu. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not going to be me. They want a 56. 56. Perfect. All right, we actually have an order on our hands. That is bonkers. And we're being sent to the South Island. Interesting. So actually the staff that handed me the order, I haven't seen him in a long time. He's like one of the nicest people uh, ever. So sometimes he gives me like, you know, a small like, what is it called? Breadstick. One time he gave me like a pizza that uh, that was, uh, you know, not picked up. Like, I don't know, he's like very, very nice and, and generous. So very cool seeing him. All right, boys, so let's get moving to drop this one off. I think, um, I think we'll head towards the coastline, you know, along the South Island. We'll head to the coastline, then uh, climb up at the very end. Customer lives on a hill, like cliffside, you know? You'll see what I mean, but um, let's head over there. You know, it's somewhat of a distance. I think it'll take us maybe 10 minutes at least of cycling. So yeah, let's keep on going. All right, so we're approaching the King's Park. From here, we turn left and uh, cross the bridge over to the Old Town Island. Once we drop this off though, I do wonder what comes next. Will there be any more orders or will this be a singular one for us today? You know, I guess we'll find out. For now, let's keep on moving. So as you can see, the main road goes straight and up. What we're gonna do is go around that and stick to the waterfront, which stays level until the very end. There's no way to avoid climbing up, but you can, you know, kind of delay it. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, time right now is 8 p.m. Not sure if you can see that, but that digital display says that it's minus six. Kind of hard to tell who is correct to, you know, to the temperature reading, but it is certainly not the day to go to the beach. I'll say that much. And uh, yeah, 8 p.m. means that there's an hour and 45 minutes remaining of today's shift. Look at this nice old view, guys. 
I think a couple of weeks ago this whole waterway was kind of frozen over. We had a, quite a few days in a row of like minus temperatures. But right now it's kind of like somewhere in between. All right, so we're turning up ahead and starting to climb. And in fact, if you can see the cliff side on my left, we're gonna, you know, pretty much make our way up there somehow. So that's the next part of the plan. Well, I gotta say, boys, it certainly feels nice to have a little bit of engagement. When you're just like walking around and doing nothing, man, it's very slow and terribly uneventful, you know? So we're about 80% of the way there. We're gonna turn left and climb up a little bit more. All right, so I just took the map. It is through here. I got a little bit confused, but um, we gotta turn onto a little side alley at the very end. Oh, I think we actually have delivered to this address in one of the previous videos. Yeah, not too long ago. All right, this is our spot. And like I said, you might remember this view from a previous episode. Although that time it was, you know, day daylight. All right, and that's the order dropped off. As you can see, the snow is picking up slightly. There's not gonna be a snowstorm, but it was predicted that it was going to snow. And so, yeah, here we are. I think it's nice, you know, at minus three or whatever, the snow is not gonna melt. So yeah, it poses no issues for me. Let's take a look at the view here. The screen is empty, so, uh, you know, maybe we'll get another order. Maybe, maybe not. We have, I'm guessing, about an hour and a half left. So as you can see, we've made our way up on the hill here. Pretty cool, pretty nice. So I think I'm going to follow through my plan of uh, just heading towards the Fedora market. And if it's open, I'm just going to go like go in, sit down and wait. Because uh, I think I've had enough uh, walking for, uh, for now, you know? All right, and I did in fact put my, uh, you know, tomorrow's shift for for adoption, I guess, you know, it's like somebody else can take it if they want to. It said, like, it says it's going to be a high demand shift, but I highly doubt that, you know, so to be honest, I don't want to have a repeat of today. Just if it's too slow, I'm Gucci boys. I'd rather stay home and, you know, do something else. Like, I am getting paid even if I'm not delivering anything, but uh, it's just too boring, you know, like, I want to have some fun. All right, so I'm really hoping that the market is gonna be open so I can like, you know, walk in, sit down, chill, do whatever. If it's not that I'm gonna get snowed in, you know, I'll get buried in snow, there's an avalanche coming, like who knows, you know? Uh, yeah, anything can happen, but we are on the lookout for more orders, boys. So stick around to find out if there's any more. All right, so we're nearing the Fedora market. If you remember, this is kind of where we started the video. And um, yeah, we've done a huge walk around the city and we're back here again. I see multiple mopeds parked up, so I'm guessing it's open. Let's sit inside and see if there's a place to sit down. Hello, my friend. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, it's fine. How many orders have you got today? I just three of them. Three? I have yeah. one. Oh, oh, yeah, it's a bit slow, isn't it? Alright guys, so I actually did get an order from here, from the market. So it's going to be ready in 6 minutes and uh, yeah, we'll sit down and wait. And the market also offers you some, you know, amenities here. You get coffee, you get diesel snacks, so very nice. I think I'm good then. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if I was able to capture it, but we did pick up the grocery order. And so now we're on our way to deliver it. Headed over to the west coast of the South Island. And I've got just the um, route lined up. It's gonna be nice and easy, minimal traffic and minimal, you know, stops. We go off to the side under like a highway. And so it's a real expressway towards the destination. So let's go ahead and get moving. So as you can see, this old pathway goes under a couple of roads and just bypasses any traffic and so really really nice discovery i've only started to use this route you know maybe a couple of months ago to be honest so it's uh, fairly fresh in my repertoire you know and so it brings you to this little green park up ahead and we're just going to continue through the park towards the you know seaside opening and so yeah if we had an e-bike, I think we would just absolutely fly through here. But we are pretty quick nonetheless, I think. This route is also somewhat downhill, so going in this direction is definitely quick. 
Also, as you can see, guys, the snow has kind of stopped. The weather report was saying that it was going to like stop, start and then just keep on going throughout the night. But um, yeah, maybe more clouds showing up later on. But for now, it's pretty clear. All right, and the address should be somewhere around here. It's going to be number 25 of the Cliff Beach Street. I see number 25 right here. Might be the one. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so I'm gonna park my bike here and then we'll uh, head inside. All right. It certainly feels more lively when you have orders coming in the first hour. I mean, that was something else, you know? All right, and up to the fourth floor. I'm sensing a lot of cigarette smoke. It's not very nice at all. It's kind of tough to breathe here, you know? I'm gonna walk for now. It's snowing again. All right, and so we have two orders to a name so far. Let's see, how much time is left? One hour exactly. Yeah, nothing on screen here at the moment, obviously. So I'm just gonna do the same thing though. A little repeat, you know? I'll head back towards the Fedor market. I'll sit down and I'll just chill there until something pops up. And if it doesn't, then, you know, <laughs> then, then, then it is what it is. So one hour left of today's shift, boys. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, and we're back outside the Fedora Market. It took me a little while to get here. I mean, I was barely moving. Time is 9.05, so 40 minutes left. I think the plan is just to head inside, sit down and wait, you know. All right, so actually three minutes later and I got an order from D Wine, which is close to the central station. Let's head over there now. And this restaurant is kind of known for being open late. So I'm hoping that it is in fact open and not closed. And the only way to find out is to, you know, get there. So let's do that now. Ooh, man, look at the look at the snowflakes, boys. It's a real white Christmas, you know, like just like the saw. I think whoever is, you know, inside with their families having dinner right now is having a good old time. Oh yeah, also if you guys don't know, the tradition here in Sweden, I guess that's tomorrow, is to wake up, you know, early in the morning and watch a little bit of Donald the Duck. <laughs> the cartoon you know i have no idea why i should probably have researched this but as the the main christmas tradition here in this country so i find that pretty interesting <laughs> if anybody knows why that is you know why they watch the uh, donald duck early in the christmas morning you know let me know because <laughs> you know it's quite a curious little thing you know Ooh, the snow is picking up boys can you guys even see anything let me make sure you guys are wiped out all right so restaurant the wine is located on the main shopping street called queen street we don't have a like, direct path in mind but we are just gonna take the left side of the uh old town island and uh and continue towards the, the central station and from there you know make a couple of uh, twists and turns to get us to where we want to be you know there's a decent amount of snow boys i can barely keep my eyes open you know squinting like crazy right all right and away we go also i've just you know not just now but maybe half an hour ago i did is that a tiktok by the way <laughs> i did get confirmation that i'm off tomorrow so that's nice today has picked up somewhat but man that first hour was brutal so i don't want to repeat that tomorrow i'm just gonna stay home and you know relax enjoy christmas you know for now though let's keep on heading towards the restaurant and see or pick it up i'm guessing it's going to be a pizza uh, of some sorts which is the typical you know thing that people order from this place oh it's so bright here amazing so yeah, I think the snow really seals the deal for today's concept, you know? Christmas Eve, and we got these sorts of like weather conditions. Yeah, it's the full package, boys. I'm riding a fresh layer of snow, very thin, very powdery, like a silent ninja, you know? It's very quiet. And hopefully the snow doesn't like pile up too much, because they gotta get home as well, you know? I don't think the snow plows will be running at this hour. So on the way back home, I'm going to be on my own, you know? All right, so we're about 80% of the way there. And I think, I think I'm just going to go straight for the shopping street. Usually it's reserved for walkers, you know, pedestrians. But I think at this hour and date, 
there's not going to be too much, too many crowds, you know, so I think it'll be fine. But let's make a right turn here. All right, Queen Street is up ahead. That's where we want to find ourselves. And we're going to turn left and go for a couple more blocks, but we're almost there. All right, here we are on the main shopping street. It's looking pretty deserted. Like I said, hopefully the restaurant is in fact open and it's not just a glitch in the matrix, you know? All right, restaurant D1, I can see it up ahead. I see some lights and I see some people inside. So it is in fact open. Let's park the bike and uh, let's venture in. Pick up time in two minutes. We'll get a pizza, looks like, for Maji for $20. That's pretty expensive. Let's check it out. Hello, brother. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. I have an order from here, number 83. Number 83. Yeah. Just a second, I check. Thank you. All right, somehow I'm still getting snowed on, so. I just got a message on my phone here. It says delivery is ready for pickup, and we just spoke to the staff, so they should be out with the order in no time. Hey, 83. Men det är väl en formage, kom jag säga. Ja, då är det korrekt. Varsågod. Då söker jag. All right, boys, let's get away from the copyrighted music. We have the pizza in our hands. Let's see where we're going. All right, and so it is a fair distance actually. We're going northwest of here to the very edge of the city actually. And so look at the map here. I guess it's gonna take around 15 minutes. And with the time coming closer to the 2145 mark, which is when our shift ends, I think this will be the last order for today which will make it, what is it, three in total? <laughs> I'm not really sure. We'll have to check the final details in a second. But for now, let's uh, focus up and get this order dropped off. So, you know, even though the snow is kind of starting to pile up somewhat, you know, from what I can see, it's about five centimeters of like, you know, snow on the ground. But, you know, it poses absolutely no issues right now because it's soft, it's fluffy. It hasn't been, you know, impacted by, you know, car tires. And so it doesn't get in your way. I don't think it's going to be snowing for too long though. I think it's only today and tomorrow. And so I'm pretty sure the city will have plenty of time to take care of it. They've been on point after a slow start, you know. All right, so we are certainly making some progress. I would, I thought I would look at the map and like be halfway there, but not quite yet. Maybe about 40% of the way there currently. Let's keep on moving. All right, boys, a green light up ahead. Let's see if we can catch it and get across. Looks like we made it. All right, so we are starting to inch closer towards the drop-off point. It just occurred to me like the, the time perception difference is so immense between, you know, when we started and had no orders till now, you know, my brain is engaged, like it's, I'm having fun, you know, it's dynamic. It's so nice. So all of a sudden it feels like time just flew past, you know, the past hour, especially. All right, and from here, pretty much a single turn separates us from the drop-off point. So keep your eyes peeled, boys. We're almost there. Wait, hold up. Something's not right here. Oh, 115. Okay, got it. The numbers were not lining up. I thought it was 15, but it's actually 115. And uh, so, yeah, we're at the right spot. It says it's one floor up. All right, they told us to leave it outside and we did just that. There is one minute left of the shift, actually. Let me see, 44, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get any more orders. I'll unlock the bike for now and once we're uh, offline, we'll do the final recap. All right, guys, and the shift is officially over. If the question was posed, what is it like working on Christmas Eve? I think we thoroughly answered that question. It is pretty slow, but especially today with the you know snowfall and everything, it was um, it was kind of cool as well. Certainly towards the end, things have picked up, and you know that was really nice. So. The actual breakdown is that in three and a half hours, we've dropped off. Drum roll, please. Ta -da! Three deliveries. <laughs> That's less than one per hour. That, that is amazing. 
And so yeah, three and a half hours, three deliveries, and a lot of walking. In that time, we've earned ourselves 472 Swedish crowns, which comes down to a 135 Swedish crowns per hour type of uh, concept. So, you know, definitely on the lower side, but uh, you know, it's still something. And the main point for today is that I just wanted to come out here and record a video for you guys. So I think we've done a great job. And uh, yeah, guys, I think, it's time for me to head home so with that guys i hope you enjoyed the video leave your comments down below like i said let me know what kind of presents y'all got for yourselves and uh yeah i'll catch you guys again soon have a great one until then peace out bye